as we continue the process. We can use advantage of digital media and do effortless corrections. If you are doing traditionally, you can use red chalk and mark parts of your drawing that you would like to correct. Take your time, step back and look at the whole drawing often. Listen to feedback of others. You may not necessarily implement all corrections, but take them into consideration with your next drawing. Important note is that artistically, this is the drawing that represents you and your work. Any further steps are technicalities that adapt your drawing to particular medium. For example, you may want to ink your drawing with clean lines as we will do here. That step is attractive and often desired in productions, but it is no longer your own artistic expression. Note that I'm talking about pure drawing. If you want your art piece to be painted, then painting is your final showpiece and drawing might be just an in-between stage. I will contemplate more on the difference between drawing and painting in later videos. For any next step, you are making adaptation compromise for a particular project that you have in mind. If you would like to showcase your work in gallery as an art piece representing purely your draftsmanship, stop at this stage. This is what you would want to show. Maybe a subtle suggestion of what your drawing can further develop into, few important details inked or shade, but that's it. Research famous drawing of Dominic Enger, Egon Schiele, Rembrandt, etc. to get more inspiration. If you would like to present your work as a comic book, illustration or concept art, you would proceed to one of further stages of adaptation, which we are about to do, and it will depend largely on your chosen medium. We will do inking, which can later be adapted to various fields. Prepare everything for inking phase. Gather your material, warm up your hand and mind. Make your previous drawing lighter and start slowly. Traditionally, it can be achieved by using transparent paper, light box, tracing paper, etc. Digital media once again saves us some time and we can easily lower the opacity of our drawing. Live models, video and photo references can help you a lot at this stage. It is very hard to have all subtle details in your head. To see how exactly and where skin folds, our fingernails protruding in particular way, etc., you can consult your reference. I recommend using references this late in process, because if you do it earlier, your art will be hugely shaped and influenced by it. If your project is dependent on reference, such as realistic portrait drawing, then so be it. But even at such endeavors, you will express yourself more uniquely if you let your own nature dictate the process, and use reference as a steering wheel, not the other way around. Try to make lines vibrant. Parts that are exposed to light can be thinner, shadows thicker, organic and non-organic can also have varying temperament. Try to consider volume as if sculpting on paper. If you are using brush, show it. Do not try to imitate other techniques. Use the one you have. If you do watercolors, do not mimic pastels. If you use pastels, do not try to look like all painting. With everything done, your work as a draftsman is complete. Print it if done digitally and treat it well. Sign it and don't forget to put additional information like year, date, etc.